What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Stitches Don't Miss. About to show you guys my newest addition to the Lock family, my Play Lock Center. This build goes crazy, man, in rec and park. It's it's the best center build, in my opinion. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start this. So we're going to go ahead. You're going to pick Playmaking and Defending Pie, Speed and Strength Pie Chart, which is the third pie chart now. We're going to go ahead. We're going to max the defense except for the steal now, y'all. Here we go. Max this out. Max that block. Steal to a 51. Max the lateral. Max the perimeter. Max the interior. 25 defensive badges. We're going to go ahead and we're going to max the playmaking. 18 playmaking badges. Max the shooting. Ten shooting badges. Max the driving dunk. Go to 49 on the driving layup. And it still catches lobs. That's all you need for the finishing. I'm going to go ahead and go built. Six foot nine. Trust me, guys. This is a rebounding wing killer. I see a ton of people. They love making six nine. The small forwards. The sharp locks. This build shoots from damn near anywhere. It has better physicals, too. And way more badges. Six nine. We're going to max the weight. Look at the speed. 78 speed, 95 strength. That's without the plus fours you get from hitting over 95 overall to 99. Not to mention if you guys are already have your gym rat badge or you guys work out and you guys hit the, the plus fours and everything in the Gatorade facility. Look at that. 84 interior D. That's plenty. Look at the rebounding's almost in the 90s. The block's really high. The shooting's high enough to shoot. You got a 63 ball, a 63 three ball, which is going to go down to a 60. We max our wing, but you can shoot from damn near anywhere. This build goes crazy. So now what we're going to do is decide what we're going to do for a takeover. Personally, me, I went ahead and went with rim takeover. You can go glass takeover. Please don't pick playmaking takeover. This is not what this build is meant to be for. So this is up to y'all. This is personal preference. I went with rim takeover. So there you go, y'all. This is... Stitch's new center build. I'm probably going to be maining on this build a lot. It's so much fun to play with and it's good in any scenario. I like to run it at the four and wreck and have a taller center. That's up to y'all. You still can. And this thing is a monster at the three in part. All right, y'all. Before I end the video, I just want to show you guys what I would pick as my badge spread. Um, I'm going to pick between two things here. It's either going to be Lob City Finisher or it's going to be Contact Finisher. Uh, regardless, you're catching lobs. I just... I put it on contact finisher, really. That's why I like to have it on. For your shooting badges, ideally you want your quick draw gold. I put my range extender gold, hot zone hunter gold. You go green, uh, green machine bronze. Once you get your hot zones, you are a killer on this build. If you're still grinding, trying to get your hot zones and everything, go ahead and go catch and shoot instead. Probably green machine bronze. You could also, if you don't like shooting from the hash, that's fine. You can easily make this a corner build. Just go corner specialist silver. Uh, go green machine silver as well or even get that hot zone hunter you don't even need once you have your hot zones go hot zone hunter gold corner specialist silver um go green machine silver but me personally this is the way i have it set up i like to shoot hash or you can still shoot anywhere once you get your hot zones everywhere go playmaking go hall of fame look at all the hall of fames you can get man this is crazy go I like that pluckable too, just to have it. People like to rip. Get bailout, break starter on gold. You can even get floor general hall of fame. Now you're really helping your teammates, and why not go quick first step hall of fame? It's the best playmaking badge in the game. Defending, go intimidator hall of fame, pogo stick hall of fame, rim protector hall of fame, rebound chaser hall of fame. Go ahead and get box hall of fame, worm silver, interceptor bronze, get clamps bronze. Go ahead and get Tyler's Defender Bronze. Um, you can mix these around to get yourself to get a uh, brick wall, but a lot of the PGs I play with, they don't they don't like screens. They like to just ISO. So that's it, y'all. If you're new here, please drop a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what y'all think about this build, and I'll see y'all in the next one.